we have talked about many strange plane designs in the past on this YouTube channel. You know, a lot of old historic plane designs from Soviet Russia or something. But the plane that we're talking about today is quite a special one, to say the least. Yes, this is the Horton H3, or however you're supposed to say it. This is probably one of the strangest plane designs I have seen in a while. The manufacturer of this plane was Horton, and Horton aircraft still exist, actually. They still make planes, which is kind of amazing. They recently came up with a very interesting one. <laughs> The plane was built in Nazi Germany, and it had its first flight in 1937. Yes, it may come to a surprise, but this plane could actually fly. Something I'm actually wondering about is how this wheel design works here. As you can see, obviously the wing is going to tip over, isn't it? I think this was built for grass runways or something. As you can see, we're about to touch the asphalt runway. Maybe not optimal, but... Now, talking about design, it is obviously very, very special. This is a flying wing aircraft, which, by the way, is a very, very efficient way of flying. Just wanted to slide that one in again. Do have full control surfaces, something that I'm... I'm kind of missing already is the vertical stabilizer. This could get a little bit weird to control. You know, the vertical stabilizer, as the name suggests, is stabilizing the vertical. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually, you'll just see in a moment how it is to fly an aircraft without a vertical stabilizer, pretty much. Now, as there is no vertical stabilizer, pretty much, the rudder surfaces are very interestingly placed. As you can see, they work as flaps, kind of. And for ground steering, this thing moves, even though I don't think you'd be able to control this plane on ground, really. Now, let's not get too much into detail. Let's just fly this plane. Actually, I have two versions of this plane. I have the motorized version that we're in right now and there's the not motorized version let's just go for the motorized version so that we can maintain flight better yes this was more of an experimental glider thing you know planes back in the 1930s were pretty much all experimental you know people just wanted to try out new things and these planes are the result let's just start the engine all right, the engine is started. Yes, we have the version with an engine. We don't need any towing mechanism or anything like that. We can just go ahead and fly. Oh, no. All right, this is where the problems begin. I don't know how to take off. All right, we have taken off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, now we are airborne. Yeah, this plane actually is able to lift off at very, very low speeds. This is really a glider with a motor, uh, after all. It does fly, which is good. <laughs> all right, about the missing vertical stabilizer, that is a thing. Now, when we, for example, bank to the left... Oh, yes, oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. As you can see, the plane doesn't really fly in a straight line. And it just goes tiptoeing. Or at least that's how I would describe it. Oh, Jesus Christ. As you can see, it turns left and right and left and right all the time. That's basically what's ha- Oh! That's basically what happens if you remove the vertical stabilizer of a plane. You know, there have been accidents in the past. For example, that 767 that got into so much wake turbulence that the vertical stabilizer fell off and the plane crashed into some resident area in New York City. You know, that plane experienced a similar thing that we are experiencing right now just tiptoeing and eventually falling over as well i hope that kind of makes sense right now the top speed that this can go is 140 kilometers which is around let me do some maths 70 knots yeah more like 80 knots which is not that bad for a glider you know that's how fast a cessna 152 can go and i want to land this plane we might actually die <laughs> this is not a very nice plane to bank all right let's go ahead and land you know what? This plane is actually kind of fun to fly. It was not the best landing. Oof! I think I went a little bit too hard on the brakes there. I wanted to do a very quick stop. Alright, that was a landing. Not too bad, you know. Actually, like, this can be classified as a tail dragger, kind of. It does kind of operate like a tail dragger, but that doesn't really matter. Alright. Oh no, our wing has gone missing. That might not be good. I mean, it still kind of flies. <laughs> what am I doing? This is a very realistic simulation of when your wing is going missing, definitely. I see, this is what the plane looks like without the fuselage slash the wing. Now, as I've already told you, there is also a version without an engine. Do you know this is an only glider version? In this case, we will now have to be towed along by another aircraft, and it's not working. Come on, 737. It doesn't appear to be working properly. That's bad. All right, maybe this one. All right, maybe the Cirrus Vision Jet can tell us. Oh, it can. 
All right, I think we can already go airborne. Yeah, the rotation speeds of these flying winger craft are just very interesting, definitely. And we're out in the air. Yeah, I don't really know how to fly a glider properly, but it's kind of cool, isn't it? All right, flaps out. Oh, we are rolling off. We are rolling off. That's not good. So, whatever. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.